my friend, he was like, Adam, I can tell you are gay because you have too much inflection in your voice. And I was like, what? so gay when I was in high school. The only kind of ball I ever played in high school was Lucille Ball. <laughs> Is it just me or do all hipsters look like chorus members from Les Miserables? Uh, right? Whenever I'm in Williamsburg, I feel like everybody's about to sing one day more and ask me for porridge or something. <laughs> Dominican neighborhoods, they love me. I mean, they love me. They, I've friended all of them. They're all so sexy. And they've given me this really cool nickname. And uh, every time they see me, they get very excited. They're like, oh, well, look who's here. Mama Guevo is here. Hey, Mama Guevo. Hey, Mama Guevo, you want to break the night with us, Mama Guevo? The kids, they love me. Mama Guevo, oh, sing me a song. Mama Guevo, I love your song. Sometimes I can't even stop to talk about you guys, come on, Mama Guevo has got to go to work at Toys R Us. Mama Guevo has got to go. Mama Guevo means cock sucker. For seven months, they were calling me cock sucker and I had no idea. If you'd be gay in the military, that makes no sense to me. If I had it my way, completely gay military. Everyone in the military would be required to be gay. No, hear me out. No, listen to me, okay? Right? You send an entirely gay military into Afghanistan. Bravo does a special on it. They call it Queer Eye for the Shi'i. <laughs> You're gonna watch that show. There's a lot of sand over there, a lot of beige. They're gonna add colors that pop. Make a place look nice. Then you send over the lesbians, they adapt up all the orphans, they flip the whole place for a profit. Mission accomplished, I say. I had a nun in the third grade. One day in front of the whole class, she goes, Miss McWilliams, you act just like your girl. I may use a little, what do I say, eat my snatch? What do you want? Thank you. 